How do I analyze the results? Looking at the completed summary table, we can see which are our priority areas. Look for the circled figures. These particular indicators are falling well below the average. For regular monitoring, you can also look for those marked with an asterisk. These are the indicators which have not met the regular target. Figures which are both circled and marked with an asterisk will be our highest priority areas. Our next highest priority will be to look for those indicators which are either circled or marked with an asterisk. With the information from our table, we can see how different supervision areas are performing with different indicators. Perhaps there are supervision areas which are performing badly in a number of interventions, and we'll need to find out why. Perhaps there are interventions which are not working that well anywhere, and we need to re-examine the program. We can see where our program is on track and meeting its targets, or we can simply maintain the level of attention we're already giving, and which areas will need special attention. The next two chapters are designed for people who will be analyzing the data at the district or catchment area level. If this isn't relevant to you, you may want to skip ahead two chapters to the section titled, How Do I Report Back to Stakeholders? So next, we'll be looking at weighted averages.